The gun debate rages on in the aftermath of the Vegas shooting, and with both sides covered in rhetorical body armor, they only thrive off disagreeing vehemently with one another. As emotional rounds are fired off one after another, like this doozy from Nancy Sinatra, who appears to be comically endorsing mass murder, writing on Twitter, the murderous members of the NRA should face a firing squad. It's obvious the quest for the truth of why this idiot did what he did has been abandoned. Michael Moore can offer new constitutional amendments, and Hillary Clinton can blame greedy Republicans, though Democrats also take plenty of gun money. They never really address who is most affected by gun violence and the root cause of mental illness. If there were no guns of any kind, would that Vegas murderer still have been so psychotic that he would have tried any other means to take so many lives? Probably. The biggest category of gun deaths, well, that's actually suicide. Most of those are older men who take their own lives, but we don't have clever Twitter quips about how best to reach them. Next, you have young men who shoot each other, but that troubled demographic doesn't fit neatly enough into the Democratic identity envelope, so we'd best employ a silencer there. Lastly, women are targeted and killed by unstable ex-boyfriends, as abuser and victim are entangled in a tragic web of violence, the deaths of which are rarely known until it's too late. All of these deaths are tragic, yet somehow, when the thin veil between life and death is so easily disregarded, when human life is seen as disposable, it's only worth talking about and politicizing when it's a mass casualty event. If we want to have an honest conversation about pain and mental illness, then we might make necessary cultural improvements. But until then, having an arbitrary one about guns does nothing but a disservice to all who have passed.